BRC or ballroom clip is arguably the most important BFBB discovery of 2018. Today I'll show you two different ways of doing this trick. One method utilizes the L clipping tech while the other one uses the L bowling tech. I'll explain both of those in a bit. First I'll explain the L clipping method for BRC. Start by bowling this button to drop the ball, then bowl this wheel to turn the track. Stand in this spot and wait for the ball to roll onto the track that you just turned. As soon as the ball reaches the track, fully charge a bubble ball while holding down the button until it automatically fires and aim it at this area of the wheel. Now the ball should be turned off the track and rolling toward you. Push the ball into the corner between this glass case and the pillar. Now just jump on the ball and walk forward slowly until you land on the ground inside of the ball. For this next part, carefully walk to the right and attempt to drag the ball with you. Do this very slowly as you learn it to avoid popping out of the ball. If you do pop out of the ball, you can just roll it back to the corner where you started and try again. Once you and the ball have reached Mr. Krabs, face the glass case and perform a single cruise boost. If you don't know how to cruise boost, you can check out my tutorial on it linked in the description, but you're just going to use the bubble bowl and the cruise bubble on the same frame against the case. If you're on the GameCube or Xbox version, a continuous winding sound will play if you've done it successfully. But just to clarify, you can still cruise boost on PS2 even though you can't hear the winding sound. And yes, cruise boosting and ballroom clip both work on every version of the game. Make sure that you walk toward the case and while you're doing this, input the cruise bubble and bubble ball at the same time, frame perfectly, to activate the cruise boost. If you're familiar with my cruise boost tutorial video, you don't have to do it twice. For this trick, you only have to do the inputs once. Now that your cruise boost is active, continue facing the case and move to the left and right to swing the ball. You're trying to build up the ball's momentum so when it clips away from you, you'll be forced inside the case. Once the ball starts swinging quickly, like so, stand next to Mr. Krabs during one of its swings to the right. The ball should then swing to the left, and as the ball looks like it's about to leave you, hold down the analog stick to walk toward the case and press the cruise bubble button as the ball leaves you. This should clip you into the glass case where you can collect the golden spatula. And you probably guessed by now that it's called L clipping because you press the L button to clip yourself in. Pretty simple, right? If you're having trouble with this method, you can use the elbow method instead. This method is 15 to 18 seconds faster than the one I just showed you, so if you find this one easier, you should definitely use it. Some people find it more difficult, however, so just use whichever one you feel comfortable with when you start doing runs. Some fundamental information on L bowling first. It's performed by using cruise boost inputs or pressing the bubble bowl and cruise bubble buttons on the same frame while not standing against flat ground. Doing so will cause SpongeBob to perform a bowl with one frame and no collision, meaning he can clip through the glass case on this frame if you're moving fast enough. So to set this up, just go to the corner and start walking down into the direction of this glass case. As you're walking down, line up the edge of the case with this pattern on the pillar over here. Now as you're walking down into the cage, and if you're lined up correctly, tap the jump button to perform a short jump, and you should be lodged between the case and the pillar like this. Now continue walking down into this area for a couple of seconds. Once you're deep into this area like this, quickly turn the control stick southwest and input cruise bubble and bubble ball on the same frame. So what you're doing is flicking your control stick to force yourself out of this area. And as you're being forced out, use the L bolt tech to capture the speed at which you were forced out of the case. Because the bowling shot has forward momentum, and due to not having collision the instant you do it, it pushes you forward into the case, clipping you through. This method does sound easier on paper because it is less complex. However, it requires much faster and more precise inputs to perform. The first method I explain is a lot slower paced and more guaranteed, especially if you're new to speedrunning this game. In that case, 15 to 18 seconds won't make a difference at all when you first start. I'd say for now, just use the one you're better at. Just be honest with yourself regarding how often you perform either of them successfully, and choose based on that. One final thing guys, if you really want to see this community grow, you should hit that like button for this video. It's a very simple thing that goes a long way for helping people find these guides. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated when more videos like this are released, and check out my playlist in the description if you want to learn more of these tricks. To watch full and live speed runs of this game, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv shift. I stream almost every day, so you're missing a lot if you don't follow that already. Peace out guys, and thanks for watching. Good luck.